Email bodybuilding channel Toronto hey. Pro, Toronto Pro JB, and introduce our guest today. We have a famous YouTuber, FBB Forum, David Bryant. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thank, Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you for You're becoming on. more famous on YouTube than Nick Power and Strength, correct? <laughs> 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 I'm trying. <laughs> great, great. Toronto Pro only four athletes in is it because it's hard to fly to canada david you know i've actually heard from some of the ladies that it's not necessarily hard to get there but it's expensive to get there so Ooh. some of the americans are kind of opting out i think and um and i was surprised too i thought there would be a lot more than four there i i didn't expect to see so few i was just because some of the other bodybuilding shows have had a lot more competitors you know mm -hmm. so yeah and it's it's certainly easier to get to than vancouver isle so yeah i didn't i didn't expect that few people you know jb oh, yeah. four athletes are in that yeah. means we could see the girls even uh clearer meaning the yeah. stream was not good but no. we have to review what we saw yeah. in fourth place jb melina oh. uh Explain to me what I don't want to say what happened because you look great, yeah. but she yeah. fell to fourth and she was third at Vancouver. What happened? Yeah. I think it was uh, just a symmetry thing. Uh, uh, as we mentioned before, that uh, her legs are popping out and so on and very great, and they really have potential for, for more. But uh, double bodies fell, fell up, fell up, David. Fell. Yeah, I would agree with you a little bit more um, upper body development to kind of fill out and, and be a little bit more symmetrical from top to bottom, I'd, I'd say. But, um, you know, I, I did reach out to her afterwards and she was really discouraged. And I was saying, you know, that was a tough competition, you know, and I think she's got a lot of potential. I, I definitely encourage her to continue because I think mm -hmm. she's she's really wonderful. And so, yeah, we'll see. Such a nice person. She is. Yeah. Uh in bodybuilding the judges usually don't care how nice the person is they <laughs> what they see. and yeah. melina structurally uh, we can talk about how much tremendous you know, she used to be obese and she's gone into this incredible shape mm -hmm. uh she went she's only five foot one i believe um it, so obviously she did a great job but for stage as you know now with the modern type of bodybuilding muscle bellies but you know, you yeah. need the full muscle bellies, the beautiful shape. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have that right. And that's not something you can just get. So Tanya, Tanya, who came in very improved you know, from yeah. uh, Vancou Vancouver, David, and Tanya mm -hmm. surpassed her. And she has a much fuller, beautiful muscle bellies, upper lower body development. What do you saw, saw in Tanya? She, 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 she went over Melina at this show. Yeah, Tana looked terrific. I was so impressed with her back and her, um, yeah, her symmetry was was really fantastic. Um, I mean, yeah, she just kind of ran into two two powerhouses, you know, and I think she, yeah, yeah you know, I, I think she would have been third at a at a higher level show. I mean, a, a show with more competitors too, um, you know, because she's she just really has a great look to her, and she's really sweet too. So I like her too. Yeah. <laughs> JB, explain yeah. to the viewers at home, Tanya, an older uh, bodybuilder, explain yeah. to me so how many, there's so many great yeah. women bodybuilders compared to me men usually age 45, you can mm -hmm. really see a lot of things just falling apart. Uh, yeah. With the women age 45 to 50, usually could be pretty good. What do you think, why do we see so many ladies in women's bodybuilding especially get better at that age? Um, uh, my personal opinion is, and, and what I experience all the time, is that uh, uh, when the woman has uh, gone this stage of uh, getting married and having kids and so on, and then afterwards, they have time to fulfill their dreams. And most of them 
the most bodybuilders, uh, women's bodybuilding, I have I such have this uh, this history in this age, mm. and they got really bad, good because they had can can do their whole um, like I said dedication to it. David, yeah. that's true. Uh, Sherry Priami, I think, and you know, in terms of after she had her kids, and she yeah. went full bore into it. You know, she's and. They they get more muscle maturity too. The ladies do, and and it just I don't know. It just seems to really really reflect well on on some of those forty over or forty plus ladies for sure. Yeah. One thing we we'd like to see a little bit better from Tanya at is maybe the routine because it I don't think it was very much choreographed. It was mm. just lat spread, for some That's a, yeah. with that much experience. Mm -hmm. Could we maybe ask for a routine, guys? A choreographed one, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe ask Kalimala or something. Top two, everyone knew who was going to be in the top two because yeah. they, they are genet not genetically, but at the moment their physique is yeah. Olympia level standout athletes. We knew it coming in uh, first. I gotta say, David and JB, yeah. it was not easy for us who was not there to really get this opinion we are bringing now, David. Yeah. It's not exactly the hard evidence because the stream was very bad, correct, David? Yeah, I agree. It was really hard <laughs> to tell in terms of detail. And there were some parts where it just was really stuttering. And it just, yeah, that, that stream was really bad. And I was kind of disappointed because when I compared it to New York and Pittsburgh streams, which were kind of perfect, you know, this, this, yeah, mm. this didn't match up. I was, I was just surprised by that. Yeah. Yeah. I JB? also, I also I also saw the the lighting was horrible uh, <laughs> with the stream and uh, you can some uh, at the poses you can cannot cannot could not saw the details it was oh and to, to compare to, like I said compared to Horizon Phoenix I prepare something uh, coming soon um, oh, sorry for yeah. that money no oh. <laughs> Teresa Ivancic and Julia, obviously the top two, they were put in the middle right away. There is what the girls were compared for the win. Yeah. Teresa coming in with another changing coach. This time she was with the best coach maybe of them all, supposedly for females with Shelby, Andrew Wu, who's been prepping all this. But uh, first glance, Teresa, I did not see any special improvements. Uh, this is based off the stream. I didn't see... Yeah. I didn't see any legs up. I don't think the arms were were up, or I don't think the conditioning. You uh, could there be something wrong last week? Protocols? Was there some? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Did you guys see any improvements in Teresa based on this stream, JB? First, uh, um, on my my uh, obvious opinion is that uh, she uh, downsized a little bit on the upper body. I think to match the the legs. My personal opinion, maybe she's killing me, but <laughs> uh, yes, um, but uh, she got more symmetry, was my opinion. She um, has more symmetry now, you mean that? More, yeah, more symmetry now, she had. Um, so I had, I had the one point over over uh, Tulia. Yeah. Over who? Tulia. Okay, we're going to go into that. So you had yeah. Teresa beating Julia. Yeah, from the symmetry oh, side, wow. yeah. wow. David, let's okay. David, let's ask you, what did you see? Okay, well, <laughs> I hope uh, uh, Teresa forgives me, but I, I do feel like <laughs> her conditioning was not as tight as I've seen her like last year, and um, I think that set her back a little bit. But it, then again, I honestly, I told this to many people, I I couldn't tell who was going to win. I thought they were very close, um, Julia and her. And it was yeah, it was a pretty tough battle, I think, between the two of them. I think they both looked really good. Um, but yeah, I, I think Julia brought in the conditioning, and and um, I think that helped her win it. On our viewers, we usually post like uh, from the stream. We posted uh, comparisons of the girls. Uh, Fifty-five percent of our viewers had uh, Julia winning. Forty-five had Teresa, and Teresa is very popular going in. Meaning, yeah. if it's fifty-five percent voting for Julia when Teresa is the very popular one, it it shows you that it was close, but um, Julia, fuller package than New York. Uh, 
presentation was much better and her tan was finally spot on. Did you guys see the tan was at least spot on, guys? Yes, yes, yes. But um, like I said, the lighting was horrible. So um, I couldn't really enjoy it myself. Julia, yeah. da Julia David, bigger legs, a lot bigger legs, uh, glutes bigger, shredded, back is not way near Teresa. Arms, I don't think it's like Teresa, but shoulders are probably she's he's wider and she's yeah. bigger than Teresa, David. Yeah. This was a close battle. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I, you know, Julia had been knocking at the door for a few shows this year. Um, and yeah, I was I've been impressed with her because I think I do think she's improved over those three shows. And um yeah, she's and she's taken the judge's advice um to improve. So yeah, I I I feel like pretty confident that that was a a good win you know for her and, and a deserved win um but you know and i do hope teresa um does come back although she's i guess she's thinking about retiring um which is kind of sad but you know hopefully i really uh, hope this is just like a yeah. post show uh disappointment yeah. you know like uh i'm sad but guys you have to remember it's six weeks, seven weeks to next. And if she flies to Portugal, let me ask you, JB. This is a yes or no answers. JB, <sighs> if she flies to Portugal, can she beat Alessio and Nastenka? Sure, she can. Uh, David? Yeah, I think so too, definitely. Do you think she will, JB? I know uh, she can, but can, do you think <sighs> if you had to bet... I cannot bet because I really don't know how Nasenka is showing up and Alciona also because they have also this um, uh, uh, 35, 30, 30, David, 30, yeah. who would you put money on if you had to put money on? Teresa, Nastenka, or Alicione? Um, I would, I think Teresa of those three. The only problem is, you know, she had, when I interviewed her a while back, a few months ago, she had actually talked about, you know, that she'd had a long bodybuilding career, oh, well, you know, oh, maybe. Well. So she had talked about that then, you know, maybe it is time to hang it up. So, you know, I'm not too terribly surprised that she's talking about that now. Um, oh, well, I hope oh, not. We no, need Teresa. Hello. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember the year without Teresa? It was not the same. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I do Oof. hope that she sticks with it as, yeah. as, a, as a fan. But, you know, we'll have to see. You know, I, I think she's, um, um, you know, she's she's doing really well and been successful with her own, you know, kind of side gigs and her sponsorships and stuff. So I think she could still continue being in the bodybuilding world without necessarily competing, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Before we go, we're going to end it each with a four, 30 seconds. JB, why are you excited by women's bodybuilding in 2023? What do you see that you're excited about? JB first. Excited. Uh, I'm excited that... Uh, um, Women are coming on stage. They are uh, bigger than last year. So we have the, the Brazilian ones, uh, Alcione, Levina, and so on. And uh, Nasenka is coming back. And uh, yeah, Teresa and uh, Julia is a big surprise. And uh, yeah, it's going to be um, yeah a revival of women's bodybuilding as we love it. That's I noticed how you brought in Teresa when we just talked about she's going to retire. But okay. David, yeah. what are you excited about? <laughs> Um, I think this year has seen um, a bit of differentiation from physique to bodybuilding, and, and there is more size and more conditioning um, in women's bodybuilding, which was is really needed. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about seeing how Sherry does with with Stefan and both the Rising Phoenix and Olympia. I think she's going to blow everybody away. Um, Personally, but we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. You believe? Do you believe Sherry is is better than can beat Andrea Shaw at this Olympia? I think so. I think so, and I, I do think. Do you believe Sherry could have beaten Iris Kyle in peak? Uh, oh. Iris Kyle might have been tough. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying because you are into <laughs> Sherry, bro. But yeah. okay, no, Sherry. Uh, yeah. I'm very excited about. We have gotten more size. Yeah. The girls are more professional, meaning they're in shape. They are in size. If you don't yeah. have the shape, you're out. I mean, conditioning, you're out. Yeah. A lot of new, fresh talent is choosing women's bodybuilding. The women's physique girl are transitioning, and they're talking about we need more size. Yeah. They're doing it. And yeah. guys, women's bodybuilding, 
I, we this is an incredible year, isn't it so far? Superb. Yeah, it's been incredible. I I want to mention too, Melissa Tyke. Oh, to Melissa Tyke. This Uncle Do <laughs> this Uncle Dawson is coming women's bodybuilding. Yeah, it's it's ex very exciting, and I'm, I think it's Christina Nicole exciting. is coming back, David. Yeah, Christina. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and JB. Yeah. Thank David. Thank, thank Glenn Amazon. Yeah, thank you all, um, especially AmazonFitMag.com for helping us. Thank you, Brian, for coming on and also supporting us on social media. Thank you very much. And thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. And click on FBB Forum YouTube. Is it? Of course. Yeah, FBB Forum. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, and we are David. You got to say, oh, yeah. You say it this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The great <laughs> macho man savage. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we are out. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, JB is not here, and sadly, we don't know how to fix this screen, but <laughs> we have the, uh, I even forgot what show it is right now. What show was it again, Julia? The Toronto Pro The Super Toronto show. Pro overall bodybuilding and Olympia qualified athlete, Julia Weitzel. Finally, you did yes. it. Yes. Uh, Julia, you never gave up. When you saw the list, well, coming in, it was this Teresa with some of the same strengths as uh, Natalia, but obviously a very different package we saw from Teresa than Natalia. But some of the, you knew you would have the leg advantage and she would have maybe the back advantage. What were you feeling going into this one? Um, well, after standing next to Natalia, I think we... We just realized we needed to try to come in full. We have never, you know, we kind of like the, I at least like the drier, tighter look. I've always like respected conditioning. So I think I've prioritized that too much. So standing next to her definitely made me realize like they like, they like it when you're full. So we wanted to come in really full. We knew that her back was going to destroy mine. So we tried to, you know, kind of alter the posing to, I'd been tucking my hips on my, my back shots, which makes my back look worse since it elongates that lower back so we changed some of those who came, um, who came up with that so brandon ray actually reached out to us after the show and basically said hey you weren't going to win it anyway but i could help you for the next one you know wow so brandon ray that's oh that's Teresa's former coach there so he reached out and gave you some 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 back tips and you obviously saw it was looking better at home when you were doing it or yeah i mean we had kind of played with popping or tucking the hips. Um, again, you know, I just, I don't know. I, I like conditioning. So I like the striated glute look. I don't like the the pop to the hips, but it seems like judges like that. And it shortens my lower back down, which doesn't make my back sucking. So such a glaring thing. So I think that made a difference. Um, I knew I was going to be leaner than I thought I was going to be leaner than her at least. So I, we figured we had the room to kind of play with it, but yeah. And, you, and Fuller, you brought a Fuller package, correct? Yeah, yeah. And what does that involve during the last three, four days? Like how much more carbs were you eating than you usually were loading up on? Well, it it was really, this is the first time that I've, I've gotten lean enough long enough that my body started to speed up. So like the day before the show, I had like 500 grams of carbs plus a cheat meal that night. Like- wow. You've never done this before, correct? Right? I've done it before. Have you ever done this? Well, 500 is not that much, but you also had a cheat meal on top of that. So have Dude, you ever that's done... a lot for me. <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, were, you were you worried? Because it's a new thing for you. Were you worried or? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing myself like that. Like, it's cool to feel like Godzilla up top, but it's also kind of terrifying, you know? But, but you were getting vascular while you were doing it or? I don't ever really get vascular. I was never gifted with that. But okay. bigger, tighter, harder, you know. You step out on stage. Uh, first of all, quickly, um, um, Tanya, she, you competed against uh, Tanya and uh, Melina uh, at Vancouver. We saw Tanya, uh, first of all, the stream, Julia, the stream was of such an epic disaster. 
that we couldn't really tell if you were fuller or tighter or this or that. We were just going by what we, what your husband, we talked to him. He showed me some pictures. We saw it back. So we knew, but we couldn't tell. Uh, mm -hmm. Ponya, she surpassed um, uh, Melina. Oh, yeah. She looked a little bit better than Vancouver. Is this correct? She looked a lot better than, than Vancouver, for sure. She was like much tighter. Um, they both, honestly, Melina was significantly leaner than Vancouver too. So they made huge improvements. Mm -hmm. yeah. Melina was probably maybe, if she gets too lean, the shape is not as beautiful because uh, Tanya yeah. has a little bit more eye-pleasing structure. So maybe that was mm -hmm. the difference why uh, it's not always conditioning, condition doesn't always wins the shows, does it? No, we, it de we have definitely learned that. Yeah, <laughs> you and Teresa, you're in the middle after prejudging. What are you feeling then? I promised myself this entire trip that I was not going to have any emotions until it was over. Um, I did not want to get excited or anything. I mean, I saw the pictures. I saw that I outsized her quite a bit, but again, the picture quality sucks, so it was very hard to tell. Um, but honestly, like I'm standing there waiting for them to call the names out at the night show. And I know everybody says like, be confident, but like, I was just preparing myself. Like you're going to be disappointed again. It's fine. So when they called my name, I was like, that was shock. You know, when you call your name, I just saw it because uh, David Bryan just sent me the finals because we didn't watch the finals. And when I, first of all, I didn't like the, the announcer, the way she did it, because they did it in a way that was no anticipation. It was just like, Teresa wrote second in Teresa. It was like, what? We're not going to yeah. build anything here? But anyway, we saw you. You were jumping up and down, and it hit you after just three bodybuilding show in the world's most toughest division for females, women's bodybuilding, and you are going to the Olympia as one of the only 10 girls. There won't be more than, I'm telling you now, there will only be, unless Jake Wood does, put some, does some David Copperfield and fixes things, <laughs> there will only be 10 girls at this Olympia stage, if even that, and you are one of them after three shows. How, like, ugh, what did it feel? Oh my God, I I mean, I, I cried, I... I cried a lot. Um, I, I still like, I still think about it and it feels like not real. It's like not set in. I can't even like explain to somebody. It's It, it was the best day of my life. When you lose twice and with Sherry, it was really close. Mm -hmm. With Natalia, uh, I wouldn't say it was really close because Natalia. It was not close. <laughs> it wasn't close because she has... Yeah. <laughs> Um, was there a point there you said, ah, ah, there's no point of doing Toronto or like, I, I need to, can I even make the Olympia? Am I good enough for, were, were the thoughts ever coming in and how did you oh, deal yeah. with those thoughts? Oh, I mean, yeah, I had those thoughts the entire time. I mean, obviously, uh, the first show we did was the first, you know, female bodybuilding show I'd ever done. So I was really grateful to get some some validation and some positive affirmation from people that felt good. So that second place didn't feel too bad. Um, and then New York, just like the, the circumstances around it sucked. You know, I got sick prior to it, but like none of that, I don't know. It didn't really like register to me until after how bad the circumstances were. So that one, that one hurt. And then standing next to her, like I'm telling you, she's a freak. Like that will make anybody feel like they should reconsider <laughs> the division they're in because she's huge so yeah i definitely i'm not even gonna lie i cried when i realized i had to continue and come on to toronto like the thought of that was overwhelming but i'm i'm just too stubborn like i honestly think if i hadn't gotten it here i probably would have just ate it and kept going because i just i just can't not but yes those there was been a lot of doubt this entire time for sure how was your husband in this um deal with this problem was he conf was he is he an emotional guy or is he just the plan type of guy? Um, so he is an incredibly, I will say in our relationship, he's definitely the emotional person. I'm much more, uh, he's very sensitive and emotional and thinks everything through a personal lens. And I'm much more rational and can kind of compartmentalize, but he has been, you know, cause he's forced to like wear the husband hat and the coach hat. And I have to give him credit because 
he has, I mean, he has just pushed me through this entire thing and he's never, he's never not been confident. You know, I know that Ryan will always tell me if I look bad or if, you know, like, Hey, you're still fat. Like, or Hey, you were tiny next to Natalia. Like he's not going to lie to me about stuff. So I believe him whenever he says things to me in this entire time, he just has been so confident that like, you know, these are the strengths you have against Teresa. If you come in correct, you can do this. So listening to him has really been the push to get me. Otherwise, I don't I don't know that I would have came here, honestly. For people at home, before we talk a little bit about Olympia, you have to understand, Teresa is the seventh best athlete in the world. And she did. Yeah. She had a way better routine than you, Julia. You know that. Oh, my routine was awful. I know. Your I know. routine, Julia. This facial Shut expression. It's like you don't even want to be in there. I'm like, this is no. This is no Melvin Anthony. This is no. This is this is not beautiful routine. You're like, eh, let me go home. I'm like, Julia. This is great music. You look epic, but you don't. <sighs> your face. You don't want to be there, Julia. Oh. I know. I feel what okay. that is. And it's not, it's not okay at this level. It's really not no. but what that is. I, I just have felt so uncomfortable with the posing and I've worked so hard on new mandatories and trying to look good in the mandatory poses that I didn't put any effort into that routine. And I got out there and I had something planned and I forgot all of it. I forgot all of it. It was awful. I know it was awful. It will not be awful for the Olympia. I know. Good. Anyway, you just beat one of the top seven girls in the world. And remember, at this Olympia, we don't have, I don't, I don't want to say the names because there's some people who's not doing it that I don't know if it's public yet, but you got to feel pretty, well, one thing though, Natalia Kovaleva, Andrea Shaw there. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you stood next to, no, you never stood next to Andrea, obviously. You've you seen her just in the off season, haven't you? I got to meet her at New York. In, but but she's season. full off, off season mode now. Yeah, but still, like, hugging her. Like, I mean, she's a dense girl. She's dense. <laughs> Is Natalia considerably bigger than her? Even though she's in yes. condition. So it, Natalia she is, is considerably bigger than everyone. <laughs> she's yeah. Godzilla, man. I'm telling you. Is this... <laughs> That's what, look, women's bodybuilding fans like the most. But judges haven't really rewarded it. But let's see now. But she's also very feminine. So... It may be that's okay then if she's feminine. If they're a little bit more masculine, they seem to not like it. But yeah. um, is this a new approach, you think, now? Because Andrea Shaw is not super conditioned, and neither was Natalia. Well, they're both good conditioning, but they're not like ACOC in yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. Are we going to... Is what's what? What do you like for women's bodybuilding then? What, what type of... Because you got fuller now, and you won. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of direction do you want to see? Well, I mean, I I personally always look at really conditioned people, and I respect that because though it takes a lot of time and effort to build muscle, it is a slow walk through hell to get very conditioned. I think anyone that's ever been really conditioned knows that. Um, that being said, I know that that is not, you know, if that was it, Michaela Acock would be Miss Olympia, you know? Mm. So... I know that's not all of it. Um, Ryan and I just talked about this last night and neither of us really like personally the super duper full look. Like both of us would have preferred to see me a little tighter this weekend. So we think we can find a good balance between not being like, you know, dead like New York, but being being lean and being full. Like we need to find the balance there. So um, I definitely know I need to be full standing next to those two though. And I do think, I mean... I think I'll compare well to them. I think that my physique is fairly close as far as like structure and size. So I think if we can kind of strike the balance, we can we can hang. Before we're gonna see some posing, you promised female bodybuilding yes. fans. Because are you wearing? Do you have the suit? Wait, wait, wait! I have the suit. Oh, but... Julia, listen. We have to see you in the suit. We haven't seen any pictures. We haven't. But anyway, before you show us the goods, listen. <laughs> we wanna. So far this season, Julia, you came in. In the beginning, we weren't believers, but when we saw the pictures, when you were starting to get in shape way, way back, I think the higher ups of the girls who are competing were like, look at this. 
and I also saw it. And I was, you remember when, when I was like, this is the new, this is it. This is the one. And you've proven it already. And usually people, when they see this is it, and then it takes forever. And sometimes it never happens. You already proved it after two, three months. You, Julia, you already proved it. And you're quick to answer fans. You are better at your Instagram. Uh, you are you're looking different. You know, you see you in the gym with the style it, stylish outfits and you have a new pair of Jordan shoes every week. And you, 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 you see there are you are doing all the things to get people more like inspired. YouTube channel is obviously coming soon. Now that's the next step because people want to see how you train. But girls want to see other girls train and look freaky. And we want to thank you, Julia, for stepping up, for for maximizing your potential. Like what your potential is for now, you're doing it 100%. There's, there's, thank you, you. Couldn't, you couldn't be better than what you are right now. So we know we're going to see some improvements for the Olympia and we know what it Absolutely. is. We don't have to... And we have to stop Julia talking about, oh, I need to fix this. I need to fix. Don't let people know this. Because if you get fixated about, oh, she doesn't have good triceps, for instance, they always think about it. We know what needs, you need, you know what you need to do. But Julia, mm -hmm. thank you for making this sport so much, so much better because you are in it. Well, thank That's a huge compliment. So thank mm. you for that. Let's see the physique. You, you got to go out of the camera and put on the suit, of course. I don't even know that I can get into the suit by myself. Let's see. You know, women's bodybuilding fans, they like the full, I've eaten McDonald's last night. Yeah, look. yeah, yeah. I really don't know that I can hook that thing by myself, though. I'm Let's really see. not sure about that. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll try it. Yeah. We will wait. Give me a this second. is worth it. Um, yeah, yeah, you can go off the screen. We won't see you when you... you... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. So guys at home and girls at home, Julia is now getting prepared. Uh, she's going to shock the world with her physique. Obviously, I'm just going to go on Instagram to show. Wait. And guys, this is a good one. Uh, we are recording the winner interview with Julia. And right now she's not in camera, but she's putting on her suit to pose. For the fans of female bodybuilding, this is going to be exclusive. It's going to be out either today or tomorrow. Uh, we are recording the winner interview with Julia. And right now she's not... What did you eat yesterday? Oh, God. <laughs> what did I not eat yesterday? Yeah, what did you eat? Tell a peep, tell the people, what does a Miss Olympia girl eat after finally <laughs> winning? Oh, uh, we went out and had burgers and fries. And then I ate two whole ice cream things in bed by myself. <laughs> well, two what? Two I can't ice really cream? I ate a lot going into that show. Now that's true. So you were already yeah. a little bit full. Not oh, yeah. full, I, but you, I, you, I got, your, you got your sure. carbs in. So I am not used to that for sure. No, and we are now Rising Phoenix. If they called you and said, let's go. Remember, you're recording now, Julia, so don't say anything uh, scandalous. <laughs> if they would call you now and say, we made a mistake, would you do it? Um, I don't know. You know, now that I know I'm going to the... I like Rising Phoenix as a, like a, a plan B. I hate to use that term, Ooh. but I liked it as a plan B. But, like, the Olympia really has been our focus the entire time. So... Yeah. I don't know. I think that so many of them that are doing the Olympia are going that I kind of like the edge of not having to deal with that where they do, you know? The only thing a little bit is that you have the potential to... Be, there's so many girls that has the potential to be in the top five there. And that's the only show where you can make some real money unless you win the Olympia. You know that. Oh, for sure. That is oh, some, it's, some big time money. I think it's $25,000 for runner-up. Oh, wow. I yeah, mean, I mean... That's pretty good. It is good, but, I mean, do any of us really do this for the money, you know? Uh, no. Well, Andrea Shaw, probably, that's a big... Well, uh, yeah. yeah. Andrea Shaw can. Okay, sure. now we're seeing it, Julia. Was this the suit? Okay. Did you, wear, you didn't wear this suit on stage? Yeah, this is the night show suit. Oh, oh, well, I didn't see the stream night show. There you go. 
Okay, Julia, yeah, let's yeah. see the package for people at home. This is Julia after how many? A little bit closer. <laughs> yeah, we are just showing a little bit for female. Wow. That's a beautiful suit also. Who, who made the it? The suit is awesome. I love the suit. I would rewear the suit. <laughs> we got to see the sides again. That's Julia going to this Olympia. Wow. And crazy. Look at the little waist. That's fantastic. Let's see the glutes. We got to see the glutes. Oh, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're cool. seeing the glutes. Yeah. Are you? It's the glutes. Fans of women's bodybuilding, this is going to be. Julia, good luck. And hopefully we will have you on before the Olympia, obviously. And YouTube yeah. channel, will it, be, will it be out so people can follow your journey? I got to find someone that knows how to do technology. So if anyone wants to help me with that, let me know. <laughs> and are you still able for sponsors, supplement brands? I have no sponsors, so I am completely open. Yes. Sponsors, this is the one. And Julia, goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day. You too. Right, right. Um, all the supplement owners. And, and then once I've done that, you know, um, then the promoters look, well, you got a valid product. Right. And we'll just see where we go.